we are going to discuss how to reach 90th percentile it might sound like a stupid video because uh, the title probably because you are saying hey i am looking at top 10 top 20 colleges i am any which way looking at 95 98 99 and all of that why are you saying that how to reach 90th percentile how is that going to be even helpful at all right i, I can foresee a lot of you thinking on those lines I promise you stick with the video until the end you will have some good things to take away from right very useful things before we jump into the video please make sure you like this video subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon if you haven't done all of that right now that we have gotten that away right we're going to discuss the idea of how to get to 90th or why is that important to start with right? let's say you've taken a bunch of marks and you've gotten 70th percentile 75th percentile 79th percentile 74th percentile you keep juggling right or you've taken, gotten 80, 85, 84, 83, 85, 84, right? Somewhere there. First, you might want to get to the 98th percentile, but you got to first cross the barrier of 90th percentile, right? So, so that is something that is super important that people don't realize. Let me give you a very straightforward example that Indians understand a lot. If you want to represent BCCI and India as a part of our playing 11 cricket team of India, uh, I hope you know that there is a difference. BCCI is not a government entity. It is a private entity in all of that. But that apart, yeah, you, if you want to represent India in, in the traditional sense, if you have not yet qualified to states, right, state matches and Ranji matches, you are never looking at an international match as a part of a BCCI team, right. So first, you, you might want to represent India. That could be the ultimate goal. But that doesn't mean anything if you haven't gotten into Ranji matches yet right so so that is the equivalent the parlance with which we are talking about if you have not yet gotten into 90 yet uh, what what is the point in aiming for a 98 or a 99 right you got to first cross 90 comfortably and then keep on building on it right? so the good starting point is that uh, from last year's example need not be ref a reflection of how cat 23 will be but thereabouts ballpark last year's 90th percentile was 48 marks so about 16 questions in total all right so about five to six questions per section will get you to the 90th percentile which means you have 40 minutes in each section to get five questions right individual sectional cutoffs might go up go down all of that apart right that is obviously there is a problem we'll address that later right in the after you have taken 15 marks, 25 marks, we will we'll get to that problem. But first the problem is getting to 90th percentile to begin with. So what you plan is if you are if you are consistently getting it low, right, you got to try and fix your accuracy. Right, there is no trade-off between speed versus accuracy. There is a video that will pop up, definitely watch that video. Uh, right, so you can't trade off accuracy for speed for wanting to do lot of questions. Stop that, right. Say, don't tell yourself. Last year, 98th percentile had X number of questions. So, by 3 each section or quant had X, verbal had Y and DLR had Z number of questions. So, I got to make sure I have to answer X questions in quant any which way. Don't, don't fall for the trap because you got to find a way of getting out your best performance, not what performance you are aiming for. Right? Both can be different for a lot of people, could be similar for a very small number of people. What do you mean by that? One year in day LR, 24 questions correct, which is in 2014, I guess, right? Got you 95th percentile. If I went in in 2015 saying 2014, mein toh, you needed 24 questions to get 95th percentile, then which means you are cracking out of shape the entire paper. 32 questions, I guess, the paper. But the paper was super tough. 16 questions got 90, almost 98th percentile in 2015. If I had told myself 16 questions to kafi nahi hai, not enough at all, I got to find a way to answer 24 questions inside the exam, then one I am spoiling my mood for the quant section, which is followed by after the DLI section. Two, I am marking random questions left, right, and center that my negative marks eat my profits, which is my positive marks. So don't go in with the idea of these many questions I have to attend only then I got to I will get where I want to don't don't go in with that idea. Think of it as I am I'm planning to attend four questions this time each section I will get all four of them 100% right. So your goal should be 4 into 3 12 12 into 3 36 I am 
bloody damn sure i will get 36 marks or higher how higher after attempting four questions if you still have time in the remaining in that 40 minutes why would you not try more questions definitely try don't randomly attempt don't take a wild guess make sure you attempt questions really well the questions that you are absolutely sure of this is a fantastic starting point if you are struggling to get ahead right if you are constantly getting low marks this can also be one of the key problems so make sure you fix this problem right so getting to 90th percentile though is beneath your dreams for most of you who prepare for cat is still an unachievable feat as on date which means you got to figure out a way to first cross the 90th barrier and then think about 92 and then think about 95 and then think about 97 go step by step it is super useful so my suggestion is answer five questions each in each section right maybe six 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 see where it takes you get all of them right make no mistakes after three more three more marks maybe get seven 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 each maybe in one section you have maxed out at six stop there the remaining two sections to seven or eight keep improving bit by bit bit by bit bit by bit we all want to directly go to the last step we miss out a bunch of intermediary steps which are essential to get to the last step don't miss out on any of that all the best cheers Gosh.